What is up everyone and welcome back to more Naruto Shippuden. I'm here with my reaction to episode 278 and then we are skipping the next four and jumping to 282 because fillers. I am joined by Madoge. You guys always ask for more Finn so I kind of force him in here to sleep. He usually sleeps on the other side of these doors and then just like sleeps against them but on the other side so I thought well you know he can come in here. I like it when he sleeps on the rug but he's just kind of missing it today. Bless him. I love him so much. He's been purely the past couple of days so he's on what's he on? penicillin or something like that and it turns out I'm allergic to penicillin so I'm not even allowed to touch the tablet so someone else has to give them to him and then he doesn't want to eat them and dogs am I right so in the last episode Naruto had a stern talking or shall we say he talked down to Foxy Woxy and I felt kind of bad actually I, I don't know I just I was like listen right he can't help the way he is, and you're being really horrible to him, and I just felt kind of bad for the fox. Don't know why. Do you think that Naruto and the fox can ever become friends? Let me know in the comments section. I want to know how many people think it's possible and how many other people don't think it's possible. Let me know in the comments section. Don't forget though, if you want to watch this before anybody else, you can head on over to my website, suzilu.co.uk, for the Patreon-style version of this video. All right, let's do this. I just can't get over how many people we have lost already. 40,000 people. <laughs> Neji! Hey, hey Neji, are you all right? <sighs> yes, I'll be fine. Just take it easy. I can use my nose to sniff out enemies too. We aren't relying on your eyes alone. Let me take over for a while. You go see the medical corps. And that's not an option, by the way. Get gone, Neji. Mm. Akumaru. I love doggies. Have you met my bear? He's huge, right? So cute. It seems that ultimately we were both shinobi being used for others' purposes. They only kept us around because of our visual prowess. It's the same as now. The caster of this jutsu is using us. Pain. With the Rinnegan, the Six Paths power that you possess, and with my Mongekyo Sharingan as well, we could do anything. The user of this jutsu intends to take advantage of my Genjutsu power when the time is right. Itachi, you have always been wrapped in darkness. Even back when you were in the Akatsuki. So why do you seem so gentle now then, Itachi? It's interesting, isn't it, that after his fight with Sasuke, in my opinion, he almost seems like he's released his hatred. I don't know. He seems calmer and... I don't know if happier is the right word, but he doesn't seem himself anymore. You two Jonin medics, over there! Please lend me a hand! We have to resuscitate this man, quickly! Now! Right! Oink, oink, oink. Go, oh, Mr. Piggy! Are you really sure you can carry all this? Oink, okay. Oink, oink. Okay. That pig is the real MVP. Look at it go! Not bacon, okay? No one passes without confirmation. Yes, I know that. Hurry up and check me out. Poor Neji, man. He's exhausted. Okay, please send the next one in now. Hey, Neji. Hey, whoa, we got a enemy around camp? My job right now is to discern things faster than anyone else can and then notify headquarters in order to improve our chances in battle. To achieve that goal, I have to put my eyes to work. Yeah, I know. But while you're here, try to rest. <clears throat> Thank you. So who the heck is sneaking around and sneaking around our medics as well? Don't even. Is something the matter? If you're still in pain. <sighs> no! A 
Oh, come on. Not that I expect there to be any etiquette in war, but like you attack the medics, really? Like, where's all the people that are supposed to be standing guard? But how did they get in? Everyone's chakra gets thoroughly verified prior to them being allowed to enter the camp. A simple transformation jutsu would be noticed. And only allied shinobi who've been positively ID'd are let in. Which must mean that a shinobi on the inside is somehow being controlled by a jutsu. It must be powerful. If only allied forces shinobi are here, it will be hard to distinguish who's responsible. We don't know who the suspect is. Even someone standing here right now could secretly be the killer. This is sure to breed suspicion among our shinobi. Is this the video game Among Us? <laughs> Who's the imposter? If we let this paralyze us now, we'll lose the battle that starts at dawn. Then I'll make sure to find who's responsible with my very own eyes. But you're supposed to be tired, Neji. You're supposed to be resting. I can't believe that someone has managed to sneak into camp. Oh, you really think you're gonna go after Sakura? It's almost time. We're going to have to start going back on rounds any minute now. Yeah, I know. So, uh, listen, tell me something. Where did you and I first meet, huh? Are they testing each other now? It's just... <laughs> you are suspicious! <laughs> Can you blame them? They literally said that everybody's a suspect. Whatever. Where is Sakura right now, anyway? Why? Did something happen? I just saw someone suspicious skulking around here. I was tailing him through the camp, but then I lost him. Sakura's in tent number three right now. The guy you followed. Can you please tell us what he looked like? Let's see. Why is he looking for Sakura? Well, actually... <laughs> is it Sai? <laughs> He looks exactly like me. Oh, what? It's you, you came back. Are your wounds bothered? What is happening here? here? Oh my god, I just kicked my computer. <laughs> it's a fake Neji? I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. What is this? It's a love letter. Uh... Next time? When I go back into battle, there isn't any guarantee that I'm going to return alive, so... Oh, Thanks for this. But I... I have someone else already, though, you see. Hmm. Sure, of course. But do you, though, Sakura? Do you? So who the heck is pretending to be Neji? Well, a rejected man like me has no right to pry into who you love. Even a shinobi like me knows that's really rude. All right, then. I guess I should go now. I'm sorry. Good luck. I hope everything works out for you. If you love him, then you must be a good man. He's not. She's just an idiot. And you know what? Sakura, you just let some guy go who wrote you a love note. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. He doesn't even love you. Seriously, listen to Susie. She knows. <laughs> Neji. Fake Neji. Don't kill him, please. What do you think is happening? Why are they going through such pains to keep us separate from the enemy? Are they not going to use your genjutsu after all? Right now it's nighttime with both sides at a stalemate. But I'm certain that soon enough Madara will use us to break the silence. He's got something up his sleeve. But this reanimation jutsu has been brought into play by Madara's new ally. It doesn't figure into Madara's original plans. Is that what's going on? Probably. What an interesting...
interesting duo those two are, though. Pain and Itachi together. Hmm. You doing all right? Yes, Neji. It's easy to get discouraged. We don't even know who it is that we're supposed to be fighting right now. It's troubling. I know. We have to be careful. Sakura knows. Sakura's not dumb. You totally overused your Byakugan and could barely stand up. You don't need to try and show off in front of your subordinates. Just shut up, Kiba. <laughs> what the hell? You can't tell the difference between a dog and a man? Visual <laughs> powers are supposed to be your specialty. <laughs> and you shouted at the dog. That's mean. I need to push myself now. Because this war is a fight to protect Naruto. We cannot lose no matter what. I still can't believe that she told Naruto she loves him. And we never saw his actual reaction or any aftermath of that. I think she's in tent B too. She's still busy treating Tonton right now. One leg is very badly sprained. Well, better it's a leg than a hand, I suppose. Will Tauntaun be able to rejoin the battle? Probably. Tauntaun can still weave signs since the hand remains uninjured. Would you mind taking a look at my arm again? It's still bothering me. Sure. Take a seat over here. Sakura! Me, if there's one bitch you don't want to mess with, it's this one. Pigs don't have hands, you big fake! Probably. Tauntaun can still weave signs since the hand remains uninjured. Are you telling me that Tauntaun is just a pig? She tricked me. Yeah, that's right. And that makes you the murderer! <laughs> Tell me what kind of jutsu it is if you don't want me to hit you again! This transformation jutsu isn't anything you can possibly handle. Do you truly believe that I am the only clone who's managed to infiltrate your ranks? <laughs> what? This is what was in Captain Yamato's reports. It was thought the Raikage and Killer B took down Kisame Hoshigaki. But it now appears he switched places with a parasitic clone or some type of transformation jutsu. This transformation replicates the target's chakra, so it's difficult to detect. At the Five Kage Summit, Zetsu of the Akatsuki suddenly emerged from people's bodies. He had absorbed their chakra. So this guy transformed into Neji, of course. Well, that's not good. At any point, they could just become like Naruto or even Sakura, Sasuke. Oh, so that's when he got it. And they absorbed chakra too. She's quite a smart girl. Uh, maybe. And then again, maybe not. You may be able to camouflage yourself well. But you're not very good at lying, are you? I have to contact HQ immediately. You two secure him. You were transporting too heavy a load, Tauntaun. <laughs> Oink. So yeah, that's crazy that they can literally take the chakra, become that person, and convince everyone. Like, they have me fooled. Tatsu, don't stand behind me when I pee. Give a guy a little privacy, would you? Well then, how about instead, I make you bleed. Tatsu, what the... Taking out a man while he's peeing? While his dick's out? I mean, that's the lowest of the low, right? Our comrades are falling victim to multiple surprise attacks. It's chaos. We don't know who the enemy is. What could be going on? It's doubtful that they'd launch a night raid. Sensory ninja watch each camp, and we've increased patrols. So why can't we detect the enemy? Is it some kind of poison? What's the condition of the corpses? All of them received external wounds, so they're physical attacks. Itachi. Itachi Uchiha's the only one that I know of that my sensory unit couldn't detect, but could still use Genjutsu to manipulate someone like that. 
But controlling this many people at once in multiple locations is impossible. Even for Itachi. Yeah, it's not Itachi, because he's just chilling. White Setsu has been impersonating various allied forces shinobi. He's able to mirror our chakra imprints. That explains it. If one of our shinobi had his chakra absorbed during the daytime battle, White Setsu can fully transform into him. Well, Shikaku, what should we do? There's no way that we can tell friend from foe now. How do we prepare to fight when dawn comes? If we don't discover a way to tell the difference fast, we will lose time, plus all our men will be endangered. In the end, they could wind up killing each other by mistake. The battle during the daytime was to set up these secret nighttime assaults. That was the enemy's true motive. That's dangerous as well, because now we're not going to be able to rest or anything. We might not even survive the night. Review all of the intel I have on this war. What's useful? What's our counter plan? Be cool. Be calm. But do it quickly. Calm. Cool. But quick. Oh, shoot. Seriously, like, if we don't figure this out, like, now? Yesterday? More of our troops are gonna die. So there was me saying before that the white Zetsu are useless because we were taking them out so easily. But the fact of the matter is, if they were able to take our cho <laughs> chocolate, I would like some chocolate right now. If they're able to take our chakra and then transform into us so that our own team can't tell and then we just kill them when their backs are turned, Eee! That's gross. That's gross. Now it makes sense as to why we don't even need anybody there because we're just gonna start destroying ourselves from the inside out. Oh, it's just like, it's so... It's such a good plan, but it's so shady. Oh my gosh, it's so, so shady. I don't like it. I don't like it. Alright, thank you so much for watching my reaction to this episode and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!